Hey, what's good, viewer? This is Spanky. Today I've got the Toys R Us exclusive Trainer's Choice Pokemon Mega Swampert Pack. And this really appeals to me because it has a complete evolutionary set. I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos, but I've complained a lot about random figures being thrown together and figures that just don't seem to match and remolds and Fennekins with Mega Swamperts and just weird combination choices like that. But as a set, I love this. I love the box art. I love the way the box looks. I think people who are mint on card collectors will like this a lot. Like I said, it's a TRU exclusive. You can see a little Pokeball design in the background. You can actually feel it's a little bit, uh, I think the term is embroidered. But it's just a little uh, slick here on the Pokeball design. And we get a nice picture of uh, Mudkip. Marsh Top, Swampert, and Mega Swampert. And Mega Swampert, he's been lifted, man. He is a beast. Mega Swampert is probably one of my favorite evolutionary, or mega evolutionary Pokemon. So let's just open it up. Before we start looking at them individually, I just wanted to showcase this little kind of filler box it came with. It's just a really reflective box that's on the bottom of the packaging. I don't know how else to explain it. And I like it a lot. I'm going to use this actually to display my figures because I like the way it reflects the uh, the figures. I, it looks really nice, so I'm actually going to make use of this. I'm definitely not throwing this away. So here's Mudkip. He's got a really nice, simple design. Really accurate to the show, cartoon, and everything in the lore. I'm not a big fan of the big product code stamped on the back of his head. I really, really hate that. It pisses me off so bad. But you'll see soon there's actually a worse one. That one's okay, it's not huge, it's not too noticeable, I'm not a big fan of it, but it, it's pass. So overall, I really do like this Mudkip a lot. They all come with these little cards here. Here's Mudkip's card. Just says what kind of Pokemon are, some of their stats, their weight and everything. And on the back it says they're from the Hoenn region. If it'll zoom, of course it won't. There it goes. And their name and their name in different languages. Next up is Marsh Tom. Another really simple design. I like that he has some action to him with his hands up in the air and his face looks really happy and everything. The back we get the simple design. Again with the product code and the made in China crap. Not too bad. I've seen a lot worse so that one passes. Um, but I really like the design. His face sculpt looks freaking awesome. So they did a good job with that. Here's the stats card. It comes with it. Now here's Swampert. He's got a really nice design. I like his pose. Just looking real fierce. Design's really good. Uh, now here's what I'm talking about. Really bad product code placement right there. That looks horrible. I mean, it's way too noticeable. I'm not a big fan of that at all. It kind of ruins the figure for me. So now whenever I take a picture of it, I can never take a picture from this side or if I want to display it, I can never display it from that side. Um, this side is okay, but uh, I really, really hate those product codes like that. I don't understand why they didn't just do it like they did this one, or uh, Marsh Tops either, but it is what it is. That kind of really just, it irks me a lot. Here's Swampert's little card. I really like the pose they have in this card again compared to what they gave us. That's a really cool, fierce looking pose. I wish they would have gave us that pose in the mold instead. Again, on the front we see a nicer looking pose as well than the simple little squatting pose they gave us. Last but certainly not least, Mega Swampert looking beast. Uh, I think on the packaging, on the art, he looks a little bit more muscular in his arms here. They kind of, he's muscular in his arms, but from the packaging and his design overall, he definitely should be a little bit more muscular. Not complaining too much about it, just putting it out there. His arms are articulated, they can go up and down just a bit. Not a whole lot of range of motion, mostly because they're stopped by the cheeks here. But look at that pose. He's just beast. He's beast. Product code, not too bad. See, I just don't understand. Why couldn't they have done this one like that? It just doesn't look as noticeable at all. So, oh well. So here's the Swampert card, and he's freaking huge. He's six feet tall. Six feet, three inches, 250 pounds, or 225 pounds. He's a beast. I can see why they didn't do this pose right here. That's a little bit too dynamic, I think, for a... PVC just so we're supposed to display and stuff, but I really do like that pose. One thing to note is that character figures are not to scale. He's only supposed to be a foot tall and he's six feet tall, so he's actually a little bit taller, so that doesn't make much sense. But Tommy does what he can with what he has. I don't expect them to make to scale figures, but I'm just throwing it out there for people who are interested in that type of aspect. I'm very much going to recommend this set. I love it a lot. 
I like that they finally did the evolutionary set with all the characters and the mega character. This is a model that Tomy should follow for now on because this is what's going to make me want to buy these figures. I hate it when they rehash molds and everything. But that's enough complaining about that. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Really do appreciate it. Check out my next video. I'm going to be doing a Mega Septile trainer set. So stay tuned for that, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.